hello everyone welcome to the another lecture of playing with numbers class 6 myself suman singh so in the previous lectures we have learned exercise 4.8 so now we will learn exercise 4.9 so before starting exercise 4.9 i will like to give you one simple formula which will help you in solving the questions and the formula is very simple formula we can say like this it is written here product product of two numbers two numbers is always equal to their scf into lcm okay this is the formula which will help you to solve the entire exercise 4.9 okay so let's start with the first question so in the first question they have given the scf and lcm of two numbers are 5 and 280 okay after that they have asked if one number is 35 find the other number so as we know through this exercise we know that scf and lcm is equal to what first number into second number we can write one more uh, we can write like this scf into lcm okay will be equal to one number one number multiplied by other number okay other number this is also a formula there is the same as the previous formula which i have given product of two number a is as you can see product of two number one number is this and another number is this product of two number is equal to scf into lcm right so here you can see we know that we know that the scf and lcm is equal to first number into second number or you can also write like this one number into other number so we are what we have done we have taken the second number as x okay or we can say that the other number we have taken as x okay so what we can write scf according to the formula scf into lcm is equal to one number into other number okay so since other number we have taken here x so what we can write 5 which is given in the question 5 and 280 scf was what 5 right and lcm was 280 and one number was 35 as you can see in the questions and the other number we have taken as x okay so when we will solve this it will become like this 5 into 280 divided by 35 so it is very simple you can do like this 5 1 time and 5 7 time is 35 right now from the 7 we can easily detect 7 to the and um, okay sorry 7 for the 28 which is 40 so the other number is 40 as you can see here x is equal to 40 which we can write as the other number is equal to 40 okay i hope you have understood this now next question is also same okay next question also the what they have told if the scf of two number is 16 and their product is 3072 find the lcm so in this question they have asked to find out the lcm and we know the formula product of two number is equal to uh, scf of their SC, uh, scf and into lcm right so what we can say here you can see product of two number is what scf into lcm scf into lcm okay so scf is also given here 16 right and the product of two number is given 3072 and the scf is given here 16 we have to find out the lcm when we will cross multiply it will be like this 3072 divided by 16 so when you will divide this 16 with this 3072 you will get 192 which is the other number as you can see here the lcm is 192 i hope you have understood now next question is also same in the in this question they have asked lcm right so in the other question what they have told the scf of two number 
is 23 and their LCM is 1, 4, 4, 9. Means what? In this question number 3, in this question number 3, they have given SCF which is 23, okay? And LCM they have given, LCM they have given 1, 4, 4, 9, okay? They are asking the other number. Same question. It is same as question number 1. So, as you can see, we know that what we have done, we have taken let the other number be x, okay? And we know that SCF into LCM is one number into other number, okay? So, other number as we have taken x. So, in place of other number, I have given here x. You can see one number it is already given here 161 and SCF is given 23 and LCM is given 1449. So, when you will cross multiply, it will be like this. It will become like this. Here you can see 23 into 1449 divided by 161. So, when you will divide this, you will get 207. When we, if you are getting problem, then you can multiply this to 23 into 1449. You will get 33327. And when you will divide with this with 161, you will get 207. So the other number is 207. I hope you have understood this. Now next is question number 4. It is very easy. That is why I have done here. So again, that is also the same question. Here it is written the product of two number is 2560 and their LCM is 320. We have to find SCF as we know that product of two number is what? SCF into LCM. As you can see here, product of two number is what? SCF into LCM. So, product of two number is 2560. S, uh, LCM is given 320. We have to find out SCF. So, when you will cross multiply like this, you will come. Okay. 25. Uh, six zero. So when you will divide this, when uh, we uh, when you will divide this uh, two five six zero, two five six zero with uh, uh, with this uh, three twenty, you will uh, get the answer. If you will divide this, you you will get the answer as eight. Right? You will get the answer as eight okay you will get the answer eight i hope you are understanding this when you will divide this this two you will get the answer here is equal to eight okay so this was all about this uh, questions now next we will see question number five so in question number five what they have told can we can two number have 16 as their SCF and 130 as their LCM? We have to give reason. So here it is very simple. You have to if you, if like this question is given in the exam or any other any in any places. So first of all, you have to uh, see that is this 16 divide this 130 is can we divide 130 with this 16 so when you will divide you will see that uh, 16 into 1 into 16 it will not come okay it will not come you can see here when we will divide this 16 with 130 it will become 8.4 like this okay so it will not come okay so since this 130 is not divisible with this 16 that is why then what we can say since uh, the, this uh, 16 is not divisible with this 130 130 is not divisible with this 16 so we can say that 16 is not a factor of 130 okay and uh, after that what we can say no two numbers can have 16 as their scf and 130 as their lcm okay we can see since 16 is not a factor of 130 because it is not dividing 16 we cannot divide 16 with 130 so the two number can can no two numbers can have a 16 as scf and 130 as lc okay and uh, reason is reason is simple the reason for the exception is that scf of two given number is always the factor of their lc that is why we will not get 
SCF S16 and LCM S130. Okay. Now next. Next is can we can two numbers have 18 as their SCF and 162 as their LCM give reason. This is also same again first of all you have to divide this 18 with this 162 if it is divisible then we can say that yes the two number can have 18 as an SCF and 162 as LCM because 162 is divisible by 18 and since it is divisible by 18 then we can say that yes the two number can have 18 as SCF and 162 as LCM and the reason is same that the SCF of two given number is always a factor of LCM. I hope you have understood this. Now question number seven. In question number seven they have asked to find out the SCF and LCM of the following number orally. Orally means uh, how to find out this. Here you can see five and eight. 21 and 10 and 24 and 7 so I have done very easily here 5 is what 5 only one factor 5 into 1 is 5 and 8 8 for 8 what we can write for 8 we can write like this right 2 into 2 into 2 right 3 twos as you can see here I have written so SCF is here 1 and the LCM is 5 into 2 q this is 40 we know right if the two different number is given two different number is given you can say 5 and 8 to find out the LCM we simply what we do we have to multiply this when you will multiply this you will get the LCM okay and SCF is what simply or uh, if you are getting confusion then you can divide like this 5 into 5 divided by 8 as uh, you can see here long division method so 5 uh, one time 5 3 will come here 5 will come to th so 3 here again you will get 2 right so again this 2 is divisible by 3 you will get 2 ones are 2 here you will get 1 and divided by 2 it is 1 so you are getting 1 here right so the SCF is 1 as you can see SCF is 1 and LCM is 40 right in the same way you can do like this one also when you will do this you can get like this 21 divided by 10 to find out the SCF, I am doing this okay. So 10 to the 20, okay. So here you will get 1 into divided by 10. Again, you will get here 1. A 1 as SCF, as you can see here. SCF is 1. And for LCM, it is very simple. To 21, what we can write in place of 21, 3 into 7. And in place of 10, we can write 2 into 5, right? So what we can write 3 into 2 into 5 into 3 into 7 into 2 into 5 which is 210 okay you will get here after that in question number 3 it is also same as you can see here you practice it at home okay as I have done here now next is question number 8 in question number 8 the question is also the same as they have asked to find out the LCM of a given number orally so for 15 for 15 what we can write 3 into 5 15 as you can see 3 into 5 15 for 45 what we can write 3 into 3 into 5 is 45 so when you will do the LCM this one is this one is same this one this one is same and this one is single so we can write here 3 into 3 into 5 which is 45 okay I hope you are understanding this now next is 10 and 35 for, so for 10 what we can write 2 into 5 right and for 30 what we can write for 30 2 into 3 into 5 so these two are same this two is same so what we can write LCM is equal to what 2 into 5 into 3 which is will be 2 5 the 10 10 into 3 is 30 we will get here 30 as you can see here right as you can see here. right again for 12 and 16 60 what we can do for 12 what we can write 2 into 2 into 3 2 into 2 is 4 into 3 is what 12 4 3 is 12 and after that 60 so in place of 60 what we can write 2 into 2 2 into 2 and 3 into 5 so these two are same this 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 is a factor so what we can write LCM is equal to 2 into for this 2 for this 3, for this 5, 
2 to the 4, 4 to the 12, 12 5 to the 16. So we will get here LCM as equal to 60. Okay. So I hope you have understood this. Okay. So in the next class, we will start chapter 5, which is I think fraction. Yes, fractions. In the next class, we will talk about chapter 5, which is a fraction. So I hope today you have understood this chapter, this, uh, this exercise. So keep up to this. Till that, thank you.